guys, it's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Daisy. I'm on the spring 22 voyage of semester at sea. It's actually almost over, which is really sad to say out loud. But today I'm coming at you with a cabin tour and I feel like this is a highly requested, very popular SAS vlogger thing of me to do. I live in an outside double. I'm on the fifth deck. Um, there are a few different cabin types in semester at sea. There's outside double, inside double, outside triple, inside triple. Um, adventure bunk. I think that's all of the options, but today I'm gonna be showing you my outside double. Some of the outside doubles are like, the beds are perpendicular to the window, um, and some of them are parallel to the window. Ours are perpendicular to the window, the window's right here, and then also we have like a couch bed and a regular bed, which I'll show you in a minute, but that's the setup of our room. I don't know if anyone else has made a room tour of this setup before, but that's what we're working with today. Okay, this is the outside of our cabin door. We're in cabin 5025. We usually put sticky notes wherever we are. I'm also covering our phone number so we don't dox ourselves. <laughs> but, and the reception's literally right there. We're the first cabin in the hallway. So coming inside, first thing you see is the back of our door, just door hooks. We have some sticky notes up there, some magnets that we've collected over the um, course of the voyage. And then over here we have these little hooks. We usually put our masks here, and then Liz has her back here as well. And then swinging over this way, we have our closets. So we split up our closets as I have this one, Liz has this one, and then we share this one. So this one is mine. So I have some sweatshirts, some pants up here, I have some sweaters in here, and then I have my hanging clothes. Pro tip, bring hangers with you because they only give you a certain amount of hangers, and I definitely got good use out of these, and I'm gonna just gonna throw these away at the end of the voyage. I also brought an over-the-door hanger, um, and then this is where I keep just some random bits and bobs. This is my pin collection. If you guys don't know, I collect pins for every country that I've gone to, and I've gotten um, ones from all the new countries I've gone to, except I don't have one for Cyprus because I lost it, RIP. But in here I just have like socks, underwear, tights, I have my umbrella, just like random stuff, extra masks. On the outside of Liz's door we have our where are we sticky notes. Um, a lot of them are not sticky anymore, so this is what we're working with now, but we usually put those on the outside of our door. So Liz's closet looks exactly like mine, so I'm not going to show you, but then this is our shared closet space. Um, so I just have like random accessories, I have some vitamins, I usually keep like my on ship clothes, so like my more loungy stuff in here, but I've already packed most of those. I have some underwear back there, my wallet with all my different currencies, I have some pajamas, and this is our safe. And then on the outside of the door I have the other part of our hanging over the door thing, but this is what Liz puts in hers. And then on the other side of that is our mirror, which you've probably seen in many vlogs. Um, this is our bathroom, so I'm gonna show you our bathroom. So this is our bathroom. We have um, some towel hooks up here. We have our bath towels that are right there. And then we have, our, this is our, like, our setup is different than other bathrooms as well. There are different setups to bathrooms as there are different setups to like the actual bedroom part. So this is ours. We have um, little shelves right here. That's Liz's, that's mine. This is not Belvita by the way. This is just like random <laughs> bathroom toiletries. And then we have a suitcase right here. Um, if we had the other bathroom set up, this wouldn't work, but because this bathroom is set up like this, we are able to fit a suitcase here. And it looks really awkward next to the toilet, but I promise it is fine. It has not been an inconvenience to us at all. Um, swinging over here, here's our bathroom um, mirror and our little vanity, our little sink. We have a bunch of extra toilet paper under there. Our steward gives us so much toilet paper. I don't know why, but it's fine, we don't question it. And then we have a little pharmacy down here with some Advil, ibuprofen, and Mucinex. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is my little side. I have some laundry detergent. If I do some laundry in the sink, um, I have a face mask, my toothpaste, and then my toothbrush and like random makeup stuff is in there as well. And then this is our shower. Ta-da! Shower. There's my shower stuff. There's some more shower stuff. And that's it. So interesting, right? Let's move on to the main part of the bedroom. Okay, just as an overview, this is what the bedroom side looks like. And then I'm not gonna go too in depth about Liz's side, but this is Liz's side. So my side of the windowsill, I have my laptop. This is where I keep all my snacks. Miss Ashlyn Palmer got me some honey on her sustainable bee farming field class, which was very nice of her. I also got a mug, which I highly recommend bringing, like a travel mug or just a regular mug because the mugs in the dining halls aren't always out. I bring that with me whenever I do a little study sesh. Anyway, moving on, I also have my little library here. I did buy four books. I bought this one, this one, this one, and this one. These two are ones I'm borrowing from other people. Oh my gosh, would you look who's out there? It's Miss Jenna Ray. Jenna! Jenna didn't see me. R.I.P. Jenna. 
Oh, we're in Sweden, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that. We're not at sea right now. We're fully in port. I'm just making this video in port. Back to my library. Four books that I bought, two books from borrowing from other people, and this one I brought from home. I have Bananagrams, but like the Flying Tiger Copenhagen version. I also have my used film my lucky duck and then this I got in Denmark because if you didn't know Legos were invented in Denmark and I made a custom Lego and guys it's me this is literally me you can't tell me it doesn't look like me anyway that's my window still moving on this is our little side table we have our phone I have my bag my water bottle um, my hairbrush my portable charger that's broken my fanny pack that I bring everywhere with me and then in these drawers this is kind of a junk drawer slash tech drawer so I have all of my like chargers, adapters, cords in here. I have some of my like prescription medicine. And then this one is like our cleaning drawer. So we have like wipes, tissues, um, little Tide. We didn't use these at all because we use ship laundry, but we have Tide packets if we needed that. And then down under the desk, I just have some more tech stuff, my hard drive. I have some like SD card converters and stuff in here. And this is my laptop case. And then this is where I keep my duffel bag. This is the bag I use for in-country travel when I'm not staying on the ship. So I have the couch bed. This is my bed and it folds into a couch if I like take this thing down. There's my otter that I got in Portugal. We both bought these sass blankets at the school store so normally it would just be the white duvet covers. And did you see how nicely made our beds were? Oh my gosh. It wasn't us, don't worry. It was our lovely steward. Our steward's name's Julius. We love him the absolute most. And the stewards come every other day when we're at sea. And I think they come every other day when we're in port as well. Um, so that's my bed. And then we have these lovely paintings. And then I stuck some little things I found in port there. Um, and then moving on to under my bed. Under Liz's bed, I think she just has her suitcase. But we keep our life jackets under there. They're like required to be right there. Um, but under my bed, I have, well, first of all, I have a tote bag. I have a tote bag problem, guys. I'm gonna have to make a whole, you'll see. I'm gonna make a video. Um, about everything I've bought on SAS and when you see how many tote bags I've bought you're going to be embarrassed and want to unsubscribe from this channel. So I have tote bag. These are my Pringles I was eating last night while I was watching a movie but um, I have some shoes that I keep here and then under my bed I keep my suitcase. This is usually like turned around so it doesn't stick out a little bit but I've been having to grab stuff out of it lately because I've been packing my stuff up. Um, and then I have my Fjall Revan Konkin backpack. So this is our desk area. We have two drawers and a cabinet. The cabinet has two shelves. The top shelf is mine. Liz has some stuff in hers too. Uh, under the desk, I keep my laundry bag and some of my shoes. And then this is Liz's drawer. This is my drawer. They're just kind of junk drawers. Um, up here I keep my games I brought were Not Really Strangers and Unstable Unicorns. I have my Kindle, I have my makeup bag, my glasses, and my postcards. Join the postcard club, baby. Over here we have our TV, which we can watch some movies that are preloaded onto it. And then we also have news channels on there. And then if we miss global studies, we can rewatch global studies. Or if we want to watch global from our cabin, it's live streamed um, to the TVs when we have global studies. We also have a mini fridge in here. There's nothing in it. We don't really use it. Fun fact, you can't bring a lot of food items onto the ship. And um, the only things you can bring on the ship are sealed snacks like if you have a bag of chips or if you have candy you can bring that but you can't bring any like pastries leftovers from dinner you can't bring any bottles you can only bring cans so i brought iced tea cans like the lipton ones on you can bring like red bulls on um as long as it's a can not one with a twist off top and you can't bring alcohol on obviously but we don't really have any need for the fridge because we can't bring any we don't really bring any food on that needs to be refrigerated i almost forgot to show you guys the covid wall which is the best part of our room everyone always comments on it um but we have been keeping track of all of the covid tests we've gotten and we also keep track of if our friends test positive so if you remember from the greaseful hug adam tested positive there lexi tested positive and then we also kept track of when we had zero cases reported so this was right after malta and then this was our last community covid test and then we have lockdown that's fun. We don't talk about her, but you can go watch the vlog if you want. The only other thing that's over here is we have a random table that we never know where to put. We had it stacked on that desk for a while. If you saw in the first, like the first two SAS vlogs, it was stacked right there. And then we also have a trash can. I think that's it. I think that is all for my cabin. Isn't it so cute? This is my cabin. This is my semester at sea cabin, guys. So crazy. If you're in 5025 on a future voyage or you know someone that's in 5025, just tell them to DM me on Instagram, okay? I just wanna make sure the cabin's in good hands. So crazy that this is my cabin. I'm on the MV World Odyssey right now. There's literally a week left of the voyage and I'm still absolutely perplexed as to 
what my life has become. Um, I'm on Semester IC. I'm a Semester IC Voyager. I am a Semester IC student vlogger. I'm ending Semester IC in a week, and we're in our last port right now. Today's our last full port day, and that's absolutely mad, and I cannot wrap my little pea-sized brain around that. That's it for my vlog. That's it for my room tour, my cabin tour. Not it for my existential crisis. I will be having a crisis until further notice, if you're wondering, but um, it's just the fact that this video is gonna be up after I'm off the MV. I'm spiraling. Anyway, that's it for my cabin tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are enjoying my SAS content. There's still obviously some more SAS content coming after this um, and plenty before this. If you wanna go watch the playlist, I'll leave it linked down below or it'll be on my channel. Um, go follow my TikTok, go follow my Instagram, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now the only call to live